I'm a 25-year-old living in Denver, Colorado. I work as a quality control analyst and make $40,000 a year. I have about $3,800 in savings, $3,500 in a 401k, and $300 in a savings account. I'm a cancer survivor. I recently found out that I am in remission. I was first diagnosed when I was 14, so I didn't really have an income then. I was lucky in that my parents would definitely help out, but any cancer-related bills that I have now usually fall on me. After taxes, my take-home is $2,400 a month. $765 goes towards rent, $420 goes towards car payment and insurance, $50 goes towards utilities, $125 goes towards therapy and mental health services, $15 goes towards monthly subscriptions. That leaves around $1,000 a month to spend. I have around $3,300 in credit card debt and zero in student loans. Moving is expensive. I've been in Denver a year and a half. I just kind of threw money at whatever I thought I needed and maybe didn't need, but was kind of celebrating the fact that I moved to a new city by myself. Here are my last credit card statements. Aramark, Red Rocks, Concession, 1050. I went to a Red Rocks show for Pretty Lights with my sisters. I get a lot of concert tickets because the music scene in Denver is great. Natural Grocers, 1665. This is the grocery store that I go to most. They have really high standards for the food that they sell as far as organic and other good quality food. Tap 14, 35. This was probably dinner and drinks. This is a bar near my office, and so we'll go there semi-often. Shell Oil, 2344. Looks as though I was getting gas pretty often here. I think someone was visiting since I'm driving all around at this time. Dunkin' Donuts, 353. There aren't as many Dunkin' Donuts in Denver as there are in New York, so it was a little nostalgic. Chiba Hut, 1175. Chiba Hut is a great sandwich place in Denver. Taco Bell, 858. I know why I went here a lot. They had this like $5 steak nachos that were really good. <laughs> so I went there pretty often during this time. PayPal, $3. This was for my sister. She's an artist. She loves digital art, and she was looking to purchase a tablet to do her art with. Izu Sushi, 6454. Sliceworks. 621. Pizza is not as good in Denver, but uh, it's still one of my favorite foods. UC Health Bill Pay, $50. This was for an echocardiogram that I got. This was just me following up with any health issues that may arise from having had chemotherapy. CU Medicine, 75. This was also related to follow-up care for cancer treatment. Illegal Pete's, 948. It's very similar to Chipotle, but I think it's better. Sexy Pizza, $3.51. X-Bar, $7. I probably got a gin and tonic. La Crepe a Papa, $7.72. Ophelia's Electric Soapbox, $43.34. Ophelia's is one of my favorite bars in Denver. It has a lot of history. It started off in the 1800s as a brothel. Now it is a bar, restaurant, and cabaret. Mayan Theater, $12.50. I believe this is when I saw Eighth Grade by Bo Burnham. Walgreens, eleven eighty-two for toiletries of some kind. King Supers, fifteen fifty. Tap fourteen thirty-five. This is a bar near my office, and so we'll go there semi-often. They have a nice patio. D Bar, four eighty-six. I think I got gelato that day. Movement, climbing, and fitness, 20. This is a climbing gym that I've been to in Denver a few times. It's really fun. Old Tibet Pearl Street in Boulder, 2117. This was on my birthday. My family was visiting for my birthday. We stopped in Boulder, got dinner, and then went to this old Tibet shop and got them some souvenirs. I bought a necklace for myself. Um, it has black tourmaline, which protects against negative energy. And I also bought a crystal for my sister. Not a frequent purchase. This would be an unusual purchase for me. Starbucks, 1261. Pride and Swagger, 23. That is right across the street from our office, so we like to go there. The Legal Pete's, 948. This place, $3, I do not remember, but it was probably a cheap PBR. Irish Rover, 17. This is another one of my favorite bars. Starbucks, 429. Inne Beauty, 2495. It's a hair removal product that was advertised to me on Instagram. They got me. That was the first and only time that I've ever bought something because of an Instagram ad and hopefully the last. Duncan, 729. Verizon Wireless, 182.99. This was my new phone. Lyft, nine. Waterworks Car Wash, 25.99. I splurged and got the inside of my car cleaned. Firestone, 71. This was an oil change that I got. USPS Kiosk, 375. Snarfs, 640. This is another great sandwich shop. Weird name, but great food. 
Burger Fi 882. It's one of my favorite burger spots. Lyft 8, Safeway 2289, Shell Oil 2250, Tycoon Ramen and Sushi Bar 1861, Michelle Hansen 84. This was a haircut. Denver Zoo 120. My family was visiting and I bought everyone's tickets. This is definitely one of my more expensive purchases. Whitewater rafting, 445.20. This was a whitewater rafting trip that I went on with my family while they were visiting. This is my most expensive. I'm still on my family's mobile plan, and so this is my way of paying them back for that for the upcoming year, if that makes sense. We just kind of finagle the finances so that way uh, everyone's getting paid and having a good time. This was my monthly money breakdown. I think money is taboo for a lot of people because when you're a kid and you try to talk about money, parents may say like, oh, that's not something we discuss in front of people. It's a sensitive subject and a lot of people feel as though their money may define their self-worth. I think I'm definitely learning through trial and error, learning from my mistakes, and that's how I'm ultimately going to learn how to handle my money well.